Before this video starts, I just want to say a quick warning for slight flashing images and sensitive topics that relate to the game and story of Amori, like depression and anxiety, stuff like that. There will also be spoilers for Amori, so if you haven't played the game, please click out, go and watch a playthrough or something. It's a great game and I'd hate to spoil it for you. Anyways, back to the video. What's up everyone, it's Mello here, and happy Halloween! In spirit of Halloween, if you've been following me on my Instagram, then you will know that I've been doing a drawing challenge where for every single day of October, I drew something based on the Omotober prompt list, which is like Inktober, but it's all Amori themed. I will also be linking the person who made the prompt list down below in the description. She's a really talented artist. Her name is Strabanitos, I believe, and I love her work. So if you like Amori, then I bet you will love her fan art. So without further ado, let's get to the drawing showcase. You can see another drawing that I did. This isn't related. This is just like an Amori Celeste doodle that I did, but don't worry about this. This is where we're starting. So. Day one, white space. I kind of like the drawing. It's really simple and it was just me like, yeah, let me just doodle what's in white space. So I was like, yep, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's okay. Moving on to the next one, this day two is neighbor's room. And I like this one a little bit more because of the highlighter and all the different colors I was able to incorporate. Which by the way, I should have probably said this in the beginning, but all of these drawings I either used like my colored pens or like sticky notes or highlighters. So yeah. Next one, picnic. You could obviously see that I upped it up on the detail, you know, because we literally have we have the whole crew. We have Kel, Hiro, Basil, Mari, and Omori. They're all just enjoying a little picnic. It just hit me that I didn't draw Aubrey. I... <laughs> oh no. I, I literally... One, two, three, four, five. But then I went, oh no, where's Aubrey? Okay, whoops. I, okay, I thought I drew everyone. I don't know how I thought I drew everyone. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I think it looks like a pretty cool drawing. I'm sorry, Aubrey. I, I definitely drew her on later uh, prompts, so you'll see her at least. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next page, which is a little fragile because these are starting- th these are kind of coming off, but they're supposed to represent, like, white space, because this prompt for day four was alter. So for all of these, they're all showing white space, and then in the background you have the the boss fight against Amori. Now this one, this one has to be one of my favorites, like hands down, is it's it's the truth. So we have we have Sunny, you know, it's angst. <laughs> we have the violin, we have Mari falling, we have Basil trying to get him up, just like, dude, come on. We like you can't I don't want you to get in trouble, man. And then the toy box. And then rest in peace. I have the eyes. I feel like that was a really cool addition to this. All right, next page, day six. I think this was knife. I didn't really know what to do for this one, which is why it looks kind of plain. Oh no, did we, oh no. Okay, I need to do this really quick. Okay, pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I just kind of did Sunny in the reflection, Amori holding the knife, that's supposed to be the light bulb. Man, just simple stuff, simple Amori stuff. This one, uh, this, I drew Basil's something on an index card, and I just glued it onto here, because I thought it looked cool. And I think it does look cool. And day seven, this is... If you can't tell, this is a church of something. I don't know if you can, because it's kind of- it, It's a little bit just like, not like scribbled, but you know what I mean. It's all right. Next page. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so for this specific drawing, I I was a little late on it. This was um, Abandoned N, I believe. And 
if I if I forget to say any of them, the prompt list will be in the description. The abandoned N1 for day A. I was rushing because of how late it was, and I like the concept, but I did mess up a lot. Like Sunny is short for some reason. Like I know he's short, but he's not that short. And yeah, I could have done this one better. But then for this one, Red Space Day Nine. I love this one because like you have you have basil here and he's you know it's getting held by the by the hands and we all know like what happens at this moment in red space <laughs> um and I just I really I really like this idea and I also like his expression I think it's really cool now for the next one this is this area I'm not too proud of it Day 10 for Mirror, I was, I'm gonna admit, I kind of just, I did have an idea of what I wanted to do, but I feel like it would, it should have been, it could have been executed better. And for day 11, Treehouse, it's, I, I'm not happy with it. I feel like I could have done so much more detail, but at the same time, I was like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna draw the tree house. And don't, don't mind that. I just remember that that's a little messed up, but it's okay. <laughs> Next page. Now, this is another one. Uh, day 12 was Omori Boy. Um, so, you know, I, I try to draw, like, a little bit how Omori Boy is, but Omori Boy just looks so similar to Omori. So I, I try making him look like he does in the comics. And then I just, you know, if you guys know Omori Boy, then you know what he looks up on his laptop. So I just put questionable things. <laughs> Day 13, release energy. I think this one was my comeback. I I love the I love the detail on here. And you have Aubrey. You finally have Aubrey. I like how colorful it is and how everybody, you know, is just like release energy. And like they're like they're all ready to fight. I think it looks pretty dope. Next page is something. So I told myself I couldn't just draw something because I've done that way too much in this sketchbook. So, um, I drew Mari and then her hair fading into something. I think, I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty cool. Um, and then day 15, favorite boss, SpaceX husband, my top favorite boss ever, like, hands down i love him so much so i had to draw him in all his phases and pretty cool pretty cool dude next page i want to make sure that i don't accidentally take two pages because there's some of these that like started to stick to each other because of the glue um okay day 16 guilty conscious i man i love drawing my favorite characters and having them having the worst time like he's straight up not having a good time right now but it's i don't know other artists might understand this drawing sadness or just this is just such a fun thing to do even though that sounds messed up and it's one of my favorite drawings as well I, I remember this one also got a lot of attention on Instagram and I was very happy about that because I'm just like oh yes like this is like one of my favorite ones and people also like it yes <laughs> day 17 was uh I believe it was just keys um so you know a little key we did I tried scribbling out some like music paper I kind of rushed this one but I mean it looks okay I, I think I like it now for this one no okay so this one wasn't key was it key oh wait no it was never mind i'm <laughs> i am losing my mind so this one it was actually toy box and black space so i meshed the two prompts together and i created this thing you have the toy box and then you have little black space bits like the spiders you have stranger love stranger um that one painting it's <laughs> i'm like i think it's like the disco room i forgot uh and then we have a watermelon i don't think i need to explain for that one <laughs> now for this one this one day 19 was the lost library so you know i just did mario up there along with some books i did this one while i was on a plane fun fact <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you go to my instagram you'll see that th there's a plane tray 
<laughs> they took a picture of this and well i think i think it looks pretty good so i'm not complaining and yeah next page is <laughs> Okay, this one was extended black space for D20. And the Herosaurus. <laughs> the Herosaurus is my favorite little guy from Black Space 2. <laughs> so I had to draw him. Look at him. <laughs> Herosaurus aside, day 21 was Abby. So I took one of the lines that she says and I just... You know, I drew her. I didn't really have any major ideas for this one. I was just like, yeah, I'll just draw Abby. So yeah, that's how that one turned out. The next page, we have Sunny drowning because it was drown for day 22. And I I honestly really like this one. I like how you, like, I feel like the bubbles make it like, I mean, obviously the bubbles make it obvious that like he's underwater, but I don't know. I don't know how to explain what part of this I like. I just kind of do. And yeah, day 23 was the hooligans. Now, this, I, I love drawing Aubrey, to be honest. So, like, even though I don't draw her too much, she's one of my favorite characters to draw. I just realized I for, oh my god, I forgot to, <gasps> I forgot to continue that. <laughs> I don't have my pens with me. Well, okay, I'll fix that on my own time. So, of course we have Aubrey, because she's the leader of the hooligans. Then we got Maverick, then we got Vance, Sh Charlie, Charlene? I'm gonna say Charlene. Charlene, Kim, and Angel, which Angel is very light on camera, sadly, but yeah, you can see him. Next page. Ooh, it's the hospital ones. Okay, so this one was hospital choice. So you know you have the you have the little headspace friends back here, and you have stranger. You know he's just strolling, and he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow stranger this time. I really like this one because it's like on a tilt. So I don't know. I think it's cool. This is for day 24. I, I probably forgot to say like some other days, um, but you can see on the top and then you could also match it to the prompt list, which I'll link down below. I forgot if I said that already. I don't know. Anyways, day 25. This was the good ending. And you know, he's like, I have to tell you something. You have all of that. And in, <laughs> in the post that I did, I there's a post-it note here because I forgot that he had he lost his eye, so I had to put the post-it note. I know that's the whole point of him being in the hospital, but sometimes I just forget that when drawing Sunny, okay? Okay, next page is day 26. Another thing about the hospital, which is rooftop. And you can see, like, if you've, you've probably seen the bad ending if you clicked on this video. If you haven't, I'm so sorry. But, you know, we have, like, the headspace because of, like, you know, when he's falling through the air. And you could just see the headspace while you hear the siren oh, playing. Um, and then you just have him sitting because, you know, he's, he's about to. Yeah. Day 27! <laughs> this was sleepover, so... One of my favorite moments from the game, like favorite little moments, was when Kel and Hero just decided to sleep over at Sunny's house, and I thought it was a really cute thing. So I was like, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna draw that. And I really like uh, the how I mixed the yellow and blue pen. I feel like it, it creates a really cool effect, even though it's really light on camera. But yeah. Next page, day 28. Hey, we're almost done. Uh, day 28. This was Kel waiting. Um, so you know, he he, he was like waiting when he's a kid, and now uh, he's just man. I feel so bad for Kel. I I love Kel so much. <laughs> okay, this video isn't about that. This is about Kel being my favorite character. This is about Omotober, which day twenty nine is extremely light. Oh, this is oh, why is it so light? Okay, so here. You have Kel eating, and he's, you know, saying, like, makes sense, especially since Sunny's moving away and all. And this one, he's like, or like, Basil's like, what? Sunny's moving? And then <laughs> that scene ensues. But, oh, I hate how light that is. I'm so sorry. Um, anyways, let's turn the page. And now we have our final days, day 30 and day 31. Now, 
day 30 was forgiveness so i i was like yeah we're, they're all gonna be in a group hug and it's gonna be all sweet and honestly this one makes me kind of sad looking at it but yeah let's just we really forgive you <laughs> yeah and last but not least day 31 where i decided to do a little polaroid picture of everybody on halloween with their little halloween costumes and i would like to say it's really messed up how in the official art sunny's mummy costume is covering his eye and like you know hold on. <laughs> i told you the pages stick together and his eye you know it's really messed up <laughs> But yeah, and here I just put, uh, you know, the date, and then it's Halloween, and we all decided to go trick-or-treating. We all look so cool in our costumes. Can't wait to eat my candy at home. And then, like, I just added a little kiki. I think it's cute. But yeah, those are all of my drawings for, for Omotober. Let me, let me start off from the beginning. So... Just for one more quick thing, I wanted to put my top three favorite drawings and then my three least favorite drawings. So I'm gonna start by looking for the favorite drawings. I think day five has to be my most favorite. I I don't I don't know if I'm biased because my favorite parts of Amori are like, you know, the truth sequence and everything and all the dark things about it, but I just, I love all of like the little detail and how it just fills up the entire page. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite. My second favorite has to be this one and I'm probably really biased because Basil's my favorite character and I talked earlier about how much I love drawing favorite characters, like just sobbing. <laughs> it sounds so weird, but I swear artists, other artists, fellow artists, I hope you get it. <laughs> And I also, I really like the uh, repeating text that I was able to put. Now, my third favorite drawing is probably extremely biased, but it's gonna have to be the Space ex-husband area. Listen, I love him. He is an amazing boss. Like, I had so much fun in this boss fight. So I think I just have to choose him for my, my third favorite prompt. So, from... My, my top three would be day five, day 16, and day 15. Now, for my least favorites. Okay, the treehouse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, treehouse. I, I love the treehouse in the game, but this treehouse has to be my least favorite, like, out of all of them. Another one of my least favorites, and I'm sorry, Amori boy. I just, I don't like how it turned out, and... I just, I, the, the, I think that the Amori boy prompt was the one that I was like the the most lost at, and I, t t day 17, it has a cool concept, but I don't feel like I executed it really well, so to rank my least to least least favorite, I'd say, I don't know how to say it, that would probably be day 17, day 11, and day 12. I'm sorry, Amori boy. But yeah, that is it for today. Thanks for watching me ramble about my art, and I hope you enjoyed the review of Omotober. I really enjoyed the challenge, and I think I'm definitely going to participate in another Amori-type challenge if I'm still into Amori next year, or just any type of October drawing challenge. I will be taking this away now. <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!